60 frequently asked questions about learning musical perfect pitch, ear training, and sight singing for young musicians, created and presented by Julia graduate David Liviano. Question 57. Why is it free? The best things in life are free. Why not music education? I believe that education is a universal and fundamental human right for any child anywhere in the world. See the Articles 28 and 29 of the United Nations Convention for Children's Rights, November 1989. The same, learning music together with physical education, is viewed in many schools in the United States and elsewhere as secondary education, and not as important as other subjects. Music is quickly eliminated if there are budgetary issues. I personally support and advocate that learning music should be a part of the primary education for every child anywhere in the world. This is why I came up with the idea of making this work available via the internet at www.youtube.com forward slash I learn music for free. For number four instead of the word for. With the extraordinary development of the internet and websites like youtube.com, access to knowledge and education is easier than ever. We are moving from an information society to a knowledge education world. Anyone will have access anywhere in the world, hopefully everywhere, to learn and master any subject 24-7. The only thing that is immutable and never changes is the need for individual practice. Whatever a student studies, it has to be learned first and then practiced. It is my sincere wish that the work presented here will help all young aspiring musicians achieve their dreams. Scientific research shows the numerous benefits and values of music education. Here are just a few of those benefits and values. 1. Music education develops brain areas involved in language and reasoning. 2. There is a direct link between music and spatial intelligence, also known as conceptual thinking. 3. Music teaches creative and combinatorial thinking. Music is math with sounds. 4. Studies show that students who study music and other forms of art do better in school and college standardized tests. 5. Music is a window into other cultures and shows how similar people are wherever they may be from. 6. Learning music teaches focus and discipline. It also teaches teamwork when performing in a group, chorus, or orchestra. 7. Music allows every student to express their own feelings once they master the technical and theoretical knowledge. 8. Learning music teaches students how to make quick decisions and how to integrate what they hear mentally with what they read to produce the actual music by playing it or singing it in a meaningful and original artistic way. 9. Music is math with sounds. 10. Music is painting with sounds. 11. Music is architecture with sounds. 12. Music is poetry with sounds. 13. Music is self-expression. 14. Music is therapy. 15. Music is fun and games. 16. Music is a human endeavor that brings all of us closer. And 17. Learning music makes children kinder and smarter. Here's a brief view of the United Nations Convention for Children's Rights, Article 28 and 29. Article 28, the right to education. All children have the right to a primary education which should be free. Wealthy countries should help poorer countries achieve this right. Discipline in schools should respect children's dignity. For children to benefit from education, schools must be run in an orderly way without the use of violence. Any form of school discipline should take into account the child's human dignity. Therefore, governments must ensure that school administrators review their discipline policies and eliminate any discipline practices involving physical or mental violence, abuse or neglect. The convention places a high value on education. Young people should be encouraged to reach the highest level of education of which they are capable. Article 29. The Goals of Education 
Children's education should develop each child's personality, talents, and abilities to the fullest. It should encourage children to respect others' human rights and their own and other cultures. It should also help them learn to live peacefully, protect the environment, and respect other people. Children have a particular responsibility to respect the rights of their parents and education should aim to develop respect for the values and culture of their parents. The convention does not address such issues as school uniforms, dress codes, the singing of the national anthem or prayer in schools. It is up to governments and school officials in each country to determine whether in the context of their society and existing laws such matters infringe upon other rights protected by the convention. For more information, questions, or comments, send an email to david at liviano.com. That's david at L as in Louis, I, V, Victory, I, A, N as in Nancy, U, dot com. David at liviano.com.